Hello folks, hope you're doing well. So, there's a question that every single person who says they believe in God has to ask themselves. Is church more important to them than God? The reason why is because to, to so many people, church is far more important to them than God. They don't go to church for God, they go to church for community. They go to church also because it can make them look good and, yeah, make them look better than other people. Well, for some people, that's important. But the m most important reason for most people is community. Because obviously, there used to be uh, community centres everywhere in the UK but in the 80s boom, they were gone by the 90s and after that all the community centres were gone now the church is the community centre for most people that's why old people want to go to church because they can meet friends and sing the songs that they sing when they were young yeah. That's the point of it. Yeah. Because, okay. When I go to the um, coffee mornings and that sort of thing in churches, the people there, are they talking about God and their relationship with God? No. No. It's absolutely amazing if someone actually talks about God in those places. So, yeah. So therefore, do you love the Lord? The oh, sorry, I'll start again. Do you love God more than the church or the other way? I mean, most people love the church more than the God because they don't even know God. Well, most people in church don't know God at all. No. But they know church. And they like church because, you know, people are nice to them. And, you know. Okay. As I said, yeah, in the end. The point that is incredibly important is you're supposed to know God, you're supposed to have a desire for God. You're supposed to grow in your knowledge and your understanding of God. You're supposed to grow in your knowledge of and understanding of who you are in God. And in most churches, none of that happens at all. As I say, it's, it's understandable. If churches are you know, community centres now, then... That's the reason that people in church don't really care about God or their relationship with God. But it's up to the people who are leading them or supposed to be leading them yeah, to help them to know. Yeah. Who they are and who God is. Mm. But again, the problem is, yeah, in this world right now, yeah, you want 
want people to be happy with what you're saying all the time so therefore yeah will you sell to will you actually say to someone they're wrong because for most people they're not really happy if you say they're wrong That's right, isn't it? Maybe. When, when people say you're wrong, does it make you happy? Not really. So, yeah, so most leaders don't say you're wrong, even if they know you are wrong. So, again, I've been talking about this for years now is that love well okay uh, maybe yes but the problem is I wasn't saying is it love for yourself I was saying is it love for that other person. Do you love that us do you love that person if you won't tell that person they're wrong when you know they are wrong? It is it is love for yourself, yes. Because you want everyone to like you. So therefore you love yourself, yes. Although actually, maybe you hate yourself. That's the point. Maybe you hate yourself and yeah, you want people to like you. So therefore, maybe then you can like yourself. Maybe. Hmm. But again, it's not supposed to be about you. The leader, no, it's supposed to be about them. The people you're supposed to be leading. So therefore, again, does it say that you love them? No. But you're supposed to love them. And you're supposed to be helping them to love each other. So therefore, yeah, if they can see other people are wrong, they should tell them and help them to deal with that. Because that's love. It's okay to, sell, to tell someone that they're wrong. It's okay. If it's about love, because you love that person, and you know if they're wrong, and you don't tell them, it could hurt them, then it's not okay to don't tell them. You know, so, okay, it's brilliant to tell them, and it's not right to not tell them, so therefore, if you love them, then tell them. again in this world we live in right now hmm, they think the other way is the right way that it's right and brilliant to not tell them because basically you're, you're protecting yourself Because if you offend someone, then you could be hurt from it. Because people may want to hurt you if you offend them. Yeah. 
<laughs> people in church say they are as Christ was or they're trying to be as Christ was and people wanted to hurt him because he was talking truth all the time and they were offended by that mm. so if you want to be like him then understand why people wanted to hurt him there was reasons good reasons absolutely well not people in this world right now they think it's they've got good reasons to hurt people when they offend them or if they've been offended by that person you know to attack that person they think there's good reasons to do that is that true mm. no was it true then no but it didn't change anything it didn't matter if it was true it still happened if it happened to him and you want to be like him then if you were too scared of being hurt mm. yeah again I understand that I understand about standing alone but you see the point of it is you're only standing alone because for years if you've been supporting a church that didn't want to offend anyone and talk truth then yeah right now you might be alone if you want to do things his way but actually that may be the best thing for you because then you have to look at, uh, to him Marvin people so I wish you well again do you love the church more than God most people if they're being true the answer is yes and that's okay Right now, that's okay. So there you go. Bye-bye.